hello there welcome back in this video we're going to be taking a look at the teasel these are teasels either side of me and it grows particularly well in very very poor soil it's one of the early colonizers of disturbed ground or wastelands here's a decent place it's a very exposed site very dry but here we've got teasel in all three stages of its life cycle we've got it as a very young plant see the star shape that it grows in. We've got it as the semi-mature plant which we'll get the seed head on and we've also got it as the mature dead plant and that's what's very very useful this head, this seed head. It's got no real food source, not to us anyway, but it produces a lot of seeds which are very good for goldfinches and other seed-eating birds in the back end of the year and one of the iconic pictures of goldfinches is them clinging onto here and eating the seeds out of this lovely seed head. It's a beautiful shaped thing. Have a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And back in the day, a long time ago, before modern machinery was invented, teasels used to actually be used to tease, well, teasel, tease, to tease fibres from wool. So you'd rub the wool like that and it would tease all the fibres one way making it much easier to spin and that was later replaced by metal metal pads with hooks on can't really find any specific law relating to teasels um, I'm surprised at that because it's, it's a really nice unusual looking plant I would have thought it, it would have had some sort of magical use back in the day but it doesn't appear to have so if you've heard of anything please put it in the comment section down below. Now really the only law that I can find relating to teasel involves the water which collects in the base of the leaves and apparently that was called Tears of Venus and weary travellers would dip the finger in, rub their tired eyes and it would rejuvenate their eyes. I'm not too sure about that though, it's basically just untreated rainwater in there with all sorts of muck from flying insects and things that'll be crawling round in and on the plant so I wouldn't be rubbing that into my eyes now it hasn't rained for days and this is a ridiculously dry site look at that we've got the tears of Venus in there so if you're feeling brave and you want to rub that manky water into your eyes be my guest and really as a medicinal plant it doesn't appear to have that many uses either or that many recorded uses from um, from the west but in the east i.e. in Asian cultures apparently it's very very good for muscle pain joint aches um, and it's often used as an anti-inflammatory as well that's particularly the roots and the flowers and the flowers would just form around here a little bit like a thistle flower like a sort of a lilac-y sort of a colour bluey purpley colour going all the way around here it really really looks nice when they're flowering unfortunately these ones aren't flowering so I'll put a picture on now so apparently the flowers and also the root would be used to make up various treatments for those aforementioned ailments but really to us outdoorsmen it is a good tinder now these lovely little seed heads aren't just useful for flower arranging and they'll take a spark very, very nicely. The design of it looks perfect to catch the spark. I'm going to give it another go. I'm going to use this one to catch the flame and then hopefully broken up ones to hold the flame. Yep, breaking them up definitely helps. That's holding the flame much better. That's going to give your fire a good chance to grow to the next level. Now if like me, 
plant knowledge isn't one of your forties, you might want to check out the links in the video description. I've put links to a few books and also Wikipedia. So if you're interested in learning more about any of the plants featured in these different videos that I've got in this particular series, check out the video description. Just click show more and the full video description will come up. So there you go, that's the teasel. That was very short and sweet. <laughs> useful to seed-eating birds, it's useful as a tinder, and if we ever become enlightened enough to use it in the West, it may be useful for inflammatory diseases and joint pain. Hope you've enjoyed this very, very short video. If you have, hit the thumbs up, check out my other videos, and I shall see you next time. How quickly that goes up. <laughs>